Welcome back everyone to another episode in Planet Zoo taking a look at some of the blueprints on the Steam Workshop. And in today's episode we're going to look at a couple of shop uh, blueprints, a couple of habitat additions, and some decorating. So let's get working on this. The first uh, blueprint that we're going to take a look at was made by Lumia, and Lumia calls this a carousel large. And let's just go ahead and take a look down here at what it looks like. Got all kinds of things that people can sit on. All kinds of animals. This is really cute. Nice little seat. We got another one over here too. Very cute. All right, let's take a look at this at night. And, oh, we also need to put in a generator too. And there it is, all lit up at night. Love it. Love how beautiful this is. All of the pretty colors. It's like pink, blue, green, yellow, orange. Turned out very nice. Turned out very, very nice. I think that would be a great addition to any zoo. That is made by Lumia. Thanks so much for posting on the Steam Workshop. Our next blueprints that we're going to take a look at was made by Key Bob. The British single bus with edible signs and also a British post box. Now you can build this bus for right around 15,000 and the post office can be done for right around 2.5. And let's just take a look at this bus. Very nicely done. Now these are the edible signs. You got to go into the thing and right here. So we could change this to any word that we want. And if we wanted to, we could also change the number. And then over here, we can also change the words here. Hmm. There it is. Very nice. And let's just go ahead and take a look all the way around our bus. A little handicap sign. Fuel stop and a button. Buses. And around on the back. We've got a license plate. An emergency exit sign. Another emergency exit, very nicely done. And a little advertisement on this side. Very nice, very nice. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this little mailbox. So both of these pieces would be great little additions. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it at night. And here is our bus at night. Everything lights up really, really well. Looks so good. So good we even have a little bit of brake lights back here. Our post office does not have any light up. Thank you so much, Key Bob, for posting on the Steam Workshop. Those would be great additions to any zoo. Our next blueprint was made by Remora28. And Remora calls this the Bee Sanctuary. And you can build this for right around 10,000. Is this not the most adorable little thing? Look at all the little beehives and the honey dripping down. And our cute little bee right here. And our honeycombs sticking out. Very, very adorable. Very adorable. Now this does not have any lights on it. So we will not be taking a look at it at night. But thank you so much, Remora28, for posting on the Steam Workshop. What a cute little piece. Our next blueprint was made by Lena Wine. And Lena Wine calls this cascading decorative. 
and it costs right around $24,000. let us go ahead and start it so we can go ahead and see it in all of its glory. Very nice little piece. Beautiful little piece. Very quiet. I would love to be able to just sit here on a nice quiet day and enjoy the water just flowing down through. And there are no light features on this, but you could always add some light features for the evening. Beautiful little piece. Thank you so much, Leanna Wine, for posting on the Steam Workshop. Our next blueprint was made by Rosewood957. And I have featured this blueprint before in a prior video and did not believe that it uh, lit up. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take a look at this at night. Go ahead and get that all the way down. And there they are. They do light up. Are they not beautiful? These would be wonderful, wonderful lamps to place all the way around your zoo. All different colors. And you can bring all of these into your zoo for right around $5,000. Thank you so much, Rosewood957, for posting on the Steam Workshop. I love them. I love that when they're at night and they light up. And I'm sorry about missing that on a prior video. Beautiful pieces. Our next blueprint was made by Giggles. And Giggles calls this the Fantasy Building. And I've also found it under the term fantasy land and you can bring this in for right around 42,000. There are no facilities associated with this but you could go ahead and put a path in. Oh there is a facility in here. What is this facility? Oh okay so we have a, the Mexican food place and a gulpy place and over here oh look at cute this is so we could go ahead and get in our uh, pass here let's go ahead and align this to the grid okay that's obstructed so it's probably this thing and go ahead and go right out the, the front door and over here Nice little place for your people to come to. And right back out the other side. This is what it looks like on the back side. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go ahead and close that down. See all these little details? Look at this beautiful roof. Look at this roof. Um, I'm sure that they use that rock, those mossy rocks. Go ahead and get in there. Yeah, the carpet moss rocks beautiful building top I love it definitely has a fantasy feel to the whole thing and with our the cute little water well down here and a little cart thank you so much giggles for posting on the steam workshop I love your name let's take a look at this at night there we go beautiful beautiful piece love it Thank you so much, Giggles. Our next piece was made by a zookeeper, and we call this a gift shop. And you can put this into your zoo for right around four thousand. Let's go ahead and take a look. That's a just a memento gift shop, but look at all the little details that they put into this area. And I love this right here. The little posters hanging out here on a little stand and over here we have some other gift shop ideas that you could buy and sell at just a moment though and of course this is super easy to put in put in just a nice little path let's take a look at this at night and we have some nice little lighting going on in each of these showcases Very nice, Zookeeper. Thank you so much for posting on the Steam Workshop. Uh, hopefully I just didn't blind everybody right there. 
And over here, we have got a build by Nicholas Lion Rider. Nicholas calls this the King Louis Throne Room. And this would be put inside of an exhibit. But I could see you also going on ahead and, you know, uh, taking out some of the sleeping quarters and uh, some of the climbing and actually letting your visitors walk through here. It could be quite fun. But I think your monkeys would absolutely love uh, this little build. Let's just take a look around. Thank you so much, Nicholas Lion Rider, for posting on the Steam Workshop. I think this would be a wonderful addition to an exhibit. Or also, you could convert it and your visitors could really enjoy the area too. Our next blueprint was made by Armando Amanity. Armando calls this the big South American fence pack. And you can spawn this in for right around $7,000. Now Armando has gone on ahead and put in all kinds of different fences that you could use in South America builds. They are wonderful. Look at all these little details. And used all the new pieces. I think my favorite one is this one right here. I love this one. Go ahead and put this out here. And now you, what you could do is you could just go ahead and duplicate it. Put it right next to it. Look at how cute that fence would be. Now this is adorable too. These are some of the new pieces. And let's put this right next to it. We got one up here. Um, how come it will not let me? There we go. Like that. Put that right next to it. And then let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this. Put it on the other side. Look at that. <laughs> they are so sweet. Now this one's cool too. Very nice. That would be a great fence. Got all different kinds of colors, different shapes in here. Wonderful, wonderful piece. Armando has done other series with these fences too. And he's done all kinds of different styles. So you guys might want to all check out his area. Look at this, this is so cute. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah, I know. Ah, uh, this is so cute. And let's go ahead and grab this one. Go with it. There you go. Very nice. Wonderful, wonderful work. All kinds of creativity here. You guys could go ahead and use these all over your areas. This is cute too. This is adorable. This is really adorable too. And also this one right here. Thank you so much, Armando, for posting on the Steam Workshop. I think people will get all kinds of wonderful ideas using these nice little fences. Our next blueprints were made by That Sleepy Girl. And That Sleepy Girl has been very busy making us some packs of some murals. And over here we've got a part one, and you can bring these in for right around 38,000. And over here, you can bring these in for right around 35,000. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. They are so cute. Wonderful, wonderful work. <laughs> this one looks like Wiley Coyote. Very nice, very nice. Our next piece was made by Baba Witch, and Baba Witch calls this Zurich's Red Panda Pagoda. 
And I believe Bob built this for Zurich to put into his Red Panda Pagoda exhibit. And it turned out beautifully. I think your red pandas would be very happy to have that into their little exhibit. Thank you so much, Baba Witch. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this at night. And there it is, all lit up at night. Very beautiful piece, very beautiful piece. Thank you so much, Baba Witch, for hosting on the Steam Workshop and sharing your creativity. The next piece we're going to take a look at was a little windmill that I created and you can build this for right around 22,000. Let's go ahead and step back so you can see how big it is. It is very, very large, but so you will be able to see it from very far in your zoo. Now, I have gone on ahead and created the base. We have got some toilets in here. Let's go ahead and get, we've got some toilets. That can come out over here. And over here we have, I believe this is the chef beef. Yeah. And over on this side we have an information booth. And last but not least we have uh, the soda area. And let's go ahead and get a generator in here and take a look at it at night. Let's move it to nighttime. Try to put in quite a bit of lighting. And here's our fountains going. And there's our lighthouse build, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Now let's go ahead and take a, let's go ahead and get it back today. Blind all you guys again. Thank you everyone for joining me in today's episode and taking a look at some of the blueprints that are on the Steam Workshop. We have some very, very creative artists on the Steam Workshop. And hopefully you guys can all go ahead and take a look at their page on there. You all take care. If you haven't left a like, comment, or subscribe, please do so now. We'll see you all back then.